Hey guys, it's Parker. We're here in the mountain mega city of Chongqing, and I'm very excited today to introduce you to one of the nicest hot pots in Chongqing, Jingxuan. Guys, come and take a look with me. This hot pot, actually, you can just walk right in the kitchen. And that's pretty interesting because normally in Chongqing, the kitchen is like crazy places and you can't just walk in like I just did. But uh, yeah, this is a high kind of high class hot pot. So they do that. Also, uh, the boss just told me that all of their products are really fresh and they come from the country every day in the morning. So yeah, uh, let me, I guess, let me explain how Chongqing people normally eat hot pot. They normally uh, maybe order some stuff that we wouldn't normally eat, like Westerners at least would normally eat, uh, like like cow stomach, brains, blood, lots of uh, lots of like stuff from this area, right? Uh, that's because um, in the past, hot pot was usually something that poorer people ate, and so they just did what they could and ate what they could. Um, but now it's kind of like an art form, and this place has taken that art form to its highest level. All right, let me introduce some specific foods for you guys. Uh, this is of course, this is of course tofu. Uh, this is black tofu and yellow tofu. I'm not sure what this is called in English, but that's what I'm calling it now. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure what the difference is, but uh, I'm gonna find out. Put that here. Usually when I eat hot pot, I normally like to order some seaweed. Got this here. Uh, seaweed's really good, it really like absorbs the flavor of the hot pot. Don't normally like blood, blood's okay. Um, I can order some goose intestines. I think I'll do that now. Um, here's some goose intestines and I'll have one of our prep cooks prepare some goose intestines. Since this is kind of a higher class hot pot, they prepare it uh, really, really carefully and they focus lots on the presentation. So that's cool. Okay, this is tripe, cow stomach. Um, apparently every tripe is different because every cow stomach is different. And I personally don't like to eat tripe that much. I think it's kind of chewy. I can't really chew it up. But uh, Chongqing people love to eat tripe in hot pot. They order it every time. So when you come to Chongqing, you gotta order tripe. You eat hot pot. You gotta do it. Otherwise, people will uh, make fun of you. All right. And I think that's it, pretty much, except for maybe some potatoes and some uh, meats, some other meats. So this is hot pot broth. Uh, there are lots of kinds of broth. Uh, in this hot pot, there's red broth and clear broth. And the clear broth is for people who can't eat spicy food. All right, in the red broth, we have lots of different spices and condiments. Um, for example, okay, for example, this right here, unique to Chongqing and Sichuan is the Sichuan peppercorn. In America, I don't think we have this, at least in America, I'm not sure about other countries. Uh, it kind of like gives a numbing flavor to your mouth and Chongqing people love this flavor. Uh, I actually do too, I love it. Okay, and of course, the spicy stuff, the uh, uh, hot peppers. And I guess the boss just told me actually this hot pepper, which is called a it looks like a Chinese light, like a lantern, like a lantern pepper. And it's not actually that spicy, so that, he said that it's mainly for a garnish, for appearance. But by the looks of this hot pot, this broth should be pretty spicy. Uh, the clear broth is made from chicken bones and pig bones, and it's, it's uh, boiled all day. Chongqing people 
people in Chongqing normally eat hot pot with uh, oil. And the old school style is just to use garlic, straight up garlic. Uh, here's the oil right here, it's vegetable oil. All right. And the old school style is just to use garlic. Uh, different people obviously have different tastes. I'm gonna put a little bit in there. A um, little bit of salt. I'm not gonna use MSG, although some people use MSG. Also parsley. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cow stomach, the tripe, if I can get it. The tripe goes in for eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this trip to one of Chongqing's best and and nicest hot pots, fanciest hot pots. And stay tuned for I Chongqing for all the best food, the scenery, uh, cultural, local hotspots, and anything crazy in Chongqing. We're gonna bring it to you. Life on the spicy side.